Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I am your host, Antoine. Look at this palm-sized beatbox I got in my hands, Richardson, because today we are checking this one out. We got the brand new JBL Go 4 in the building. Look at it in all of its glory. You wanna know how I know JBL be listening to me and watching my videos and taking my advice? Do you really wanna know? I know you want to know because I've been saying this ever since the first day I talked about this speaker right here, the JBL Go 3. I actually do like the speaker. I think it's actually really great for what it actually is built for and what it does, but there's one problem with it. It's this right here. This backside of the speaker. I don't know what this is supposed to be for, man, but right here is where you're supposed to stand it up. It's built to be an, uh, a forward firing speaker, but a speaker this small should be laying down on its backside. That way it fires up and everybody gets to enjoy the, mu uh, enjoy the music. But check this out. On the Go 4, they have actually put rubber feet on the back. Look at that. You go ahead, JBL. You do your thing. You ain't gotta give me credit for this. You ain't gotta give me credit, but we know who actually brought this up first. Anyways, here's the JBL Go 4 and here is the Go 3. In this particular video, uh, we're gonna do a slight comparison between the two, but not a full comparison because I'm gonna save that for another video because I like YouTube views. So let's just put this to the side right now and talk about the star of the show, which is the JBL Go 4. Look at it, man. It's actually been redesigned pretty much 100% and I am here for it all day. We actually have this strap right here. If you get in there and look at this strap, this is actually, it's, it doesn't move around. So it's not like a loop that just, you know, keeps going around in infinity. It's actually just a strap that's just stuck on there in a fixed position. Then you got your little neoprene tab right here. And it's actually been made to look a little bit more rugged than the older version as well. Cause we got some more neoprene around the sides here and it just looks like it can take an actual beating. Not that the old one couldn't, it's just, it looks like this one can actually take a little bit more of a beating. If you look on the top of it, you'll see your plus and minus and your play and pause button sitting right here. But then if you rotate it just a little bit to one side, you'll see some other stuff. And if you look close enough, you'll see there's a really big change here. You see your power button right there at the top. Then in the middle, you see your Bluetooth connectivity button. And then there it is right there, the AuraCast button. This is where the magic happens right here. In previous versions, you could not connect a Go 3 to anything because it didn't even connect to the app. But not only does the Go 4 connect to the app, the new, uh, the updated JBL app, but now you've also got connectivity to other speakers in like party, like a, you know, you can connect a whole bunch of them together that are different, or you can connect two identical ones in stereo mode. Now, since I brought it up, let's go ahead and take a deep dive into this app because it is new for the JBL small, small speaker lineup. And right here on the home page, which is pretty much the page, you got your title of whatever product you're using, a nice little picture of the product, and then you have your battery percentage. But right here, this is actually new. You have an equalizer. Now, is it custom? Oh yeah, you can do a custom. Wow, you got a five band EQ here. So there is that. And then if you go back, you do have some presets, which is gonna be vocal, energetic, chill, and JBL signature. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I've tried all of these EQs and this speaker is that big. So there's not a whole lot you're gonna be doing as far as EQ. In fact, when you jump from uh, signature, chill, energetic, and vocal, you don't even see that much or hear that much of a difference anyways, because once again, it's, it's just, come on, man. It's a little bitty speaker. And that takes me to specs. I don't really talk about the uh, specs on this channel anyways, but for those of you who are wanting to hear like wattage and all kinds of specky things like that, get a grip, man. This speaker, this is a tiny little Bluetooth speaker, man. Like this, it's not that serious. People buy these things just so they can have a little bit of music and maybe even take some phone calls, but this one does not have a mic to take phone calls. Unfortunately, I think they all should at this size, but either way, it's a small speaker. So there's only going to be so much to expect out of this thing, especially when it comes time to EQ it. But back to the app, this is a cool feature that I did notice, this playtime boost. So let's just hit this little thing right here and I'll read it out to you for those of you who are having a hard time seeing the screen. All right, louder music with longer playtime. Playtime boost will boost up the, it will boost up the volume of your music, but consume less battery under this, uh, and under this mode, EQ will be disabled. Basically, if you have it on like a, like a bass boosted mode or like you're using your EQ or even like one of these presets here, it's gonna go back to the default and it's actually gonna allow you to boost your music, uh, your volume, but it'll consume less power because you're not EQing it to have a little bit more bass or anything like that, which I think is a super clutch feature. And since I mentioned battery life, the 
JBL Go 4 gives you an extra two hours on top of the previous model, which only gave you five hours. Now you're getting up to seven hours worth of battery life out of this thing. And I'm assuming you can get that if you're using the Playtime Boost. So let's just turn that on. No, you know what? Let's keep that off because once I give you your sound sample, I'm gonna wanna keep that off because it's gonna affect the sound. Then we get into stereo group. Let's go backwards a little bit. Let's see that. Connect two speakers to stream stereo channel. There you go. If you got two of the same speaker, you can have stereo. And then on the last tab, you got your product information where you can get your quick start guide and stuff like that. And that's about all there is to the app. But when you buy a little bitty speaker like this, why are you buying it in the first place? Well, this is for the guy or girl who just wants to kind of maybe put something on their shoulder on like a, like a strap on the backpack or just have something in the office just chilling there with you. You don't want to disturb anybody else. So you want to, you know, a little bit of music or maybe you travel a lot and you just need some, some music. Maybe while you, you know, in the hotel room, you're getting ready and you know, you just want some music while you're ironing your shirt or something like that. I've even taken back in the past, I've taken small speakers like this on a cruise. So while you're in your cruise cabin, you can just have your little tunes right there. It doesn't get super duper loud. It doesn't have a whole bunch of, you know, ground shaking bass but you just need some music on the go now since we were talking about music we need to see how this thing sounds but before we jump into that i need to show you one more thing and that's your usb-c charging port right there it's still exposed but it is still ip67 waterproof baby <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if you could actually hear this over the recording, but between all those EQ preset modes, um, I don't really hear that much of a difference. I hear it, but it is not that significant to me. I would actually prefer to keep it on the, uh, the, the JBL signature mode. Hey, let's just face it, man. JBL does speakers very well. They know how to tune their own stuff. They don't need you jacking around with it, of all people, right? But one thing that you should notice that is uh, in the playtime boost mode, you see that it can get louder, and but it does pull back on the power a little bit. So, you know, if you just want the longevity of the speaker as far as playtime goes, toggle that on, man. You'll get to have your speaker just a little bit longer uh, as far as enjoyment before you need to charge it again. And, you know, if you just want that extra boost of, let's say, bass and, uh, you know, extra sound, toggle that off. That way you can just enjoy the speaker to its fullest. But all in all, I think it is a great speaker. I just wish that a speaker of this size because if i'm gonna be carrying this especially while traveling or to the office or something like that or just you know hooked onto a uh, like a backpack strap or something i would like to have a microphone you know what i'm saying just you know just be having a conversation or just have it on a desk or something like that so a microphone would be nice uh, those are two of the things that I wish JBL would have improved on. And I talked about it in the video I did of the JBL Go 3. I wish that this was actually a way to set the speaker without it sliding all over the place. And they improved upon that by putting this these uh, rubber feet right here so it can lay flat on its backside and be an up firing speaker as well as a front firing speaker. Now, JBL, all you got to do is put a microphone in here, but I guess it's too late for that. Maybe that's the JBL Go 5. <laughs> Either way, this one is good as it stands, man. You don't need a microphone to be a great speaker. This is actually a fantastic speaker. So yeah, man, I do approve of the JBL Go 4. Look forward to multiple videos of this thing coming up soon because I really, really do like it. I think it's a great one to add to the collection, but I'm no expert in this kind of stuff. But what I do know is, I know how to get my jam on and I'm glad I could take it with me with this little, man, this thing is so small. It's like, look at this. 
that, that's so cool, man. I'm glad y'all doing this, JBL. Hey, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.